Hello to one and all. Welcome inside to the Speedy Channel on YouTube. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you all how to upgrade your uh, simple HUD from a 1.1.9 to a to the simple HUD 1.2.8 by Veracity, and and it was updated on October 26th, the last month. It's only not even been a week yet. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. The only download link you will click on below, which is going to be your uh, Simple HUD 1.2.8 by Veracity. Go ahead and download the file, and then, and then if it tells you to agree and download, go ahead and do that. And then while you're at it, um, go ahead and click on the Simple mm -hmm. HUD version 1.2.8 zip. Go ahead and start downloading that and then whip that out there on your desktop and remember i always open up the rim wire now, all right guys let's go ahead and dive into this plug-in appreciate you all coming out here stopping by and today's tutorial inside of our lspd lfr started on today's tutorial inside of our LSPDFR on the Simple HUD 1.2.8. Let's dive right into it. The first thing you're going to do is come to the Open 4 right real quick. Go ahead and open that up or your Open IV and then click on that Grand Theft Auto 5 for Windows. You gotta have it. And let that be loading up there and let me split this off into a page up here and I'm gonna make it small, alright? Best thing you're going to do is um, find your GTA 5 main directory. How do we normally do that? Is if you come down here to your file explorer, right click on it, and click on that pin, Grand Theft Auto 5 pin to quick access. If you click on that right there, and if you don't know how I've done that, if you look on the top right hand corner um, of your screen, you will see like a two or three minute video. Showing you all how to pin that down to get pinned to quick access. It is much faster to get to instead of going through all these pathways. Next thing we're going to do now is go ahead and go into Simple HUD. Go ahead and open up your uh, RimWire or Zevin Sip or however you guys open it up. Uh, mine's going to be RimWire. And then I'm going to split this up into a bigger page here. Alright. So now you're going to go ahead and open up your Simple HUD. And let's go down here to props and textures and go ahead and open that up and there is a simple HUD part one and there is a simple HUD part two. Alright, let's go ahead and take this part one, open IV, left click, bring it down here to your open four and then simply drop it in and then it's going and then you're going to install it and you always want to select mods folder. Click on that mods folder and confirm installation. This is part one to the simple HUD and what you guys need by the Venocity. And we'll just go ahead and close that one out. And let's go ahead and go into what part two. Make sure you wake wake up your uh, open for somehow. Just right along in here. Just make sure that is blue. And then come back over here to your uh, rim wire or 7-zip. And go ahead and grab this part 2 Simple HUD installer. Part 2. Left click. Bring, bring it down, down here to your open 4 or open IV. Drop it in. And then there's your part 2. You're going to install into the mods folder only. Never select games folder. Uh, mods folder only. And confirm installation. Alright, once you all get done doing that, let that be installing, and then go ahead and close out. Come back up here to your rim wire or 7-zip, however you back up your 7-zip, but inside your rim wire, just go ahead and go back one level right here that you see, the arrow button pointing up, all the way back to right here. Next thing we're going to do is we'll have to have the add-ons. Go ahead and click on the add-ons. 
and click on postal map. All right, go ahead and install the postal map dot open IV. Left click, bring. Make sure you make sure you wake up your open four, and then go ahead and take your installer open IV. Out of your rim wire seven zip. Bring it down here to the open four. Simply drop it in. And then it's gonna it's gonna bring up the postal map. You're gonna install that and into mods folder and confirm installation. This is a new upgrade. It only came out like a week ago on the twenty sixth. And believe it or not, um he's taken out the um, um, square put v uh, dot net uh, files and he's actually put this in with the script put v so pretty much if you're um, if we get an upgrade and your script put v is broken this is going this is going this is going to be broken too as well so keep that in mind guys um, when, when that gets done installing go ahead and close that out and then and then go go up one level in your rim wire next thing you need is your subtitle overlap fix all right we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and fix it there's an open iv there for the install left click bring it down here to your open four when we wake it back up left click bring it down here to your open four and then drop it in and then you're going to install the overlap, the subtitle overlap fix. You're going to go ahead and select always mods folder and confirm installation. Just like that right there. Let that be going sinking on in. That this here, this here normally will take a minute or two. Um, sometimes it does, depending on how fast your internet is. We all get done doing that. Close that out. Go back up one level in your uh, Simple HUD fo folder. One more, and then we got to go down here to your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder right there. And you're going to see a Simple HUD ASI and your Simple HUD dot INI. You can highlight these two right here. Left click, bring it over here to your GTA 5 main directory. Main directory. And then simply drop it in. I'm already had uh, two files with. I'm already put this in my game, so I'm just going to replace mine right real quick. Now, guys, keep in mind in one thing: with all the other ones that he had, all right, he had a function where you open up the menu. This one here, I'm not seeing a menu button on this one. Um, I think um, his original um, op the open up the menu was like F10 on the last one. This one right here does not have a um, a function where you open up the menu and do all sorts of things to it. And I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You um, well, but they, I can't even show you because they ain't got a um, fits in there. Now you can you can uh, scroll down here until you find the simple HUD, um, simple HUD uh, INI file right here, which is your configuration settings. And then I'm gonna show you all right here. Um, this right here, you all can mess around with that right there. But personally, I like it. But I also like my menu button too as well. So I guess I'm shouting out to uh, Velocity there. If he can upgrade this one more time where we can have control of a uh, menu inside of a game like in the past. Or listen, I am overlooking it somehow. I don't even see one in in our uh, I&I file. That's the only fault to it. Other, other than that, we are done. We are free. Go ahead and refresh on your main directory. Close out of your main directory. Close out of your um, open four and close out of your seven zip or rim wire. Guys, let's go ahead and jump inside of our game. We're doing an in-game showcase. 
of our new Simple HUD 1.2.8 inside of our LSPD. Yep. Alright guys, welcome inside to the in-game showcase of your Simple HUD inside of our LSPD FR. Appreciate you all coming by, looking at this video. Hope to help you all out any way, shape, form, or fashion. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Look on the bottom right hand side, bottom left hand side of your screen. You will see the map right here, alright? Now, remember how the other one was? It was real bunched up. You really couldn't see it. And, you, you know, and, you know, really couldn't really couldn't tell any numbers or letters because where it was all bunched up now in this one right here i can actually see i can actually see the numbers i can see the name of the road and stuff like that and you know you know that's what i like especially with the age i'm at right now with all the problems i got going on guys i thought that was about i, I I thought that was pretty much well awesome in my book. Anyway, we get right here on this map. I can actually read this map a whole lot better than what it was before. Um, this map here is, is... I mean, I can read it. It's not bunched in like it was on the other one. If I can find, if I can find a picture of a side-by-side, -side, I'll try to do that. On, on what you on what you guys think, but this is the um, but I am on the current version and I am re upgrading my game up to the three three five one and and guys this is very awesome how this is, but guys that's gonna wrap it up for me right here. I appreciate you all coming out here and stopping by. Um, I hope to help y'all out anyway, shape, form, or fashion, and we will and we will see you on the next tutorial inside of our LSPD FR. Peace out, guys. Going, going, gone. Here, looking at this video. Hoping to help you all out anyway, shape, form, or fashion. And I will see you guys. Did that car fall right through the road? Guys, I'm still upgrading my cane. Look at God. Oh my God. How in the hell did he even stay in that car? Wow. I'm not even going to pull you over. Did you see that? Yeah, that's what I... Uh-oh, now we're going to have a fight. Let's watch this go over. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, what a right. Ooh. Kick him right, right in the balls. Ooh. Alright. You win. We're going to do still... No, he's not even going to take the car. He's just going to... My God in heaven. Mm, mm, mm.